Welcome again guys. We are talking about DNA from the beginning. Primer set of experiments that founded the you know modern age biology. And we have seen several experiments. We have seen even eight different experiments that leads to the foundation of mitosis and meiosis. Now after meiosis what we know about you know uh, the experiments by Theodore Boveri, Walter Schutten in nine, late 1880s and 1900s. We find that that normally uh, the cells, the sex cells that are present in our body like sperm and egg, they also contain chromosome but the number of chromosome present in sex cells is half the number of chromosome present in somatic cells and normal body cells and the reasons for that you know because if the number of cells increase in the sex cells it will eventually increase the somatic cell chromosome number in huge amount right so that's the problem so the chromosome number should be maintained constant in the increment of the chromosome number from the normal can actually lead to the cell death we have seen the example for C. archin now what we know here later times like 1905 experiments conducted by Nettie Stevens and Edmund Wilson showed us that among all those different cells, among all those sex cells, there are some new part of the chromosomes and the role of chromosomes in determining sex and that's very very important. What they discussed is that they worked with you know mealworm, they actually worked with let me write mealworm. Mealworm is always present you know uh, you know how mealworm will look like something like that you know so mealworm and they were what they do actually they, they did they took uh, the cell from the mealworm and what they found here in the cell in the somatic cell somatic cell of the mealworm they find the nucleus and inside the nucleus they found 20 20 chromosomes right there 20 chromosomes that means the 10 set of chromosomes are actually present there right 20 chromosomes are present now among those 20 chromosomes what they knew is that once they run through the gametogenesis gametogenesis or production of sex cells like sperm and egg what they will produce the number of chromosomes will like this the sperm let me draw it like this way okay the number of chromosomes that is present there reduces to half so now it is 10 chromosome in each of it egg and sperm in somatic cell we have 20 chromosomes right that's the basic idea now what they found here in somatic chromosomes is that among that 20 chromosome there are some chromosome slightly different than other because you know the length the height of all the chromosomes once they're looking this chromosome on the nucleus using microscope is not the same the height are different and their shapes are different, their structures are different. Now what they found majorly is that among those egg cell as well as sperm cell, so let's look at here, egg here and sperm here. So in, in these cells, in egg cell what they found here, in the stain chromosome, all the chromosomes are kind of like that. So stain chromosomes are there. In sperm however, they also have the ten chromosome and one of the chromosome is very very short very tiny and he and they noticed this in this whole somatic cells all, also in somatic cells also they found 19 normal shape chromosome but one very small chromosome very very tiny chromosome among these 20 chromosomes now once they are segregated once they are transferred to egg and sperm those small chromosome is transferred to sperm and that chromosome is important in which aspect that's what the goal for their founding now in this case what we see is that among these 20 chromosome 10 goes to egg 10 goes to sperm for example in, in all these cases for example in this case it goes 10 to produce sperm because one cell it produces either sperm or egg it is producing 10 uh, sperm using the 10 chromosomes inside in all the time when he found the sperm they found the small tiny chromosome present in the sperm and neither cases they found the small chromosome to be present in the egg that means that small chromosome is something very important to do with the sperm or the male sex cells 
and that is very important point that is the small chromosome is responsible it is responsible to produce male organs and on the other hand the rest of the cells are different now the small cells the small chromosome is termed as the sex chromosome because it is important for determining the sex for this male worm and in this case the determination is male so if the small chromosome is present it is going to turn that organism into a male one if it is not present all of them are of normal height then it is going to turn out into the female uh, male worm that's how the whole process work and that's the idea of sex determination that came in the early times in early 19 in 1905 and that is the experiment number 9 conducted by Nettie Stevens and Edmund Wilson in the paper of 1905 we have seen actually those those diagrams where he pointed out the small tiny chromosome and this same idea is applicable to all of us you know in in all the different somatic cell in all all the uh, all other uh, organisms including human being because in human being also what we can find is that they term that chromosome as X and Y chromosome now let's say all of the 19 chromosome they term them X term them number X right alphabet X and in the one chromosome they termed it Y capital Y so if we look at it in case of us human being for the same idea what we can find here is that once we begin with say male and female we begin with that right in this case a male is having a X and a Y because Y is responsible for turning it into male on the other hand if two X are there it will make it female now in this case it can produce either capital X capital X or capital X capital Y or capital X capital X or capital X capital Y so these are the four possibilities so what we can see XX means female XY means male so the possibility for the generation of the offspring as male or female or a boy or a girl is 50 50 so if all the process occurs naturally and segregation works naturally it will produce 50 percent male 50 percent female and that's true for human being right in all these cases so all of us all of us the inheritance pattern actually follows the rule for Mendel the rule of Mendel the rule of segregation the law of segregation it works and it helps us to distinguish between male and female it helps us to uh, get the idea of uh, the sex determination in mammals or in other organisms so that is an important idea that how these uh, chromosomes actually change so so what we can see here in the conclusion number nine and that is sex chromosome determine determines the type of organism organism okay and it it is uh, types of organism means male or female and that's the thing the sex chromosome is an important thing to get this idea okay so that's kind of it guys and in the future videos we'll be talking about the sequential experiments but this is found to be one of the biggest uh, you know very interesting experiment uh, to get this idea because until and unless we we never know that which is going what because you know in, in in all these parts sperms and in eggs they contain all those different varieties of chromosomes it depends on the segregation right it's just like a coin flip in either way from this mother and father from the male and female either way male can give a Y or it can give an X but it, de it, it depends on which one is going it, it, it is not rely on any rules it's just a coin flip it's just a 50 50 chance for segregating a Y or segregating an X so that's how the whole process works